I have to say I have a new hero. Margaret is someone who is, what I say, walking the talk. She's really, actually making a difference. So I'd like to bring up uh, Dr. Margaret Martin. Thank you. I'm supposed to talk about the social impact of music uh, education. And I, I guess I should start with um, a Sunday morning in Los Angeles. A posse of LA gang members walked through a farmer's market. They stopped in front of a tiny kid playing Brahms on a tiny violin. After five or six minutes without saying a word to one another, I watched those gang members pull out their own money and lay it gently in the child's case. Those gang members were teaching me that they would rather be doing what that child was doing than what they were doing, but they never had the chance. Kids are recruited in gangs early in elementary school, and you really have to have a gang affiliation or you can be hurt or even killed. Nationally, we've got close to a 50% dropout rate in our 50 largest cities. That's indefensible. So what we've done is we've gone into the highest crime neighborhoods and we've connected high-need kids with professional musician mentors, five to 10 hours per week, year-round, tuition-free, including their instruments, for their entire childhood. A lot of our students come in and they're really shy. They don't talk. If you can't talk, if you can't express yourself, you can't ask questions. You can't ask for help. You can't report abuse. You can't negotiate in a relationship or in a job. I mean, it's a pretty big deal. Well, little shy kids come in and you put an instrument into her hands and then you commit to her five to 10 hours a week of lessons and ensemble practice, and you learn to work with other people. So what is that? Five to 10 hours a week of kids practicing, listening carefully to one another, and agreeing. If you don't agree, it doesn't sound good. You know, our kids tell us, you can't just have cellos. You can't just have flutes. You need all the voices. And together, it sounds good, but it only sounds good if you really work hard. And then what we do is, as our kids advance, we train them to mentor their less advanced peers. So while they find their voice, they come full circle and end up helping their peers find theirs. I'm proud to say that this year we had 52 high school graduates. 100% of them have been accepted to two or four year colleges. 40% of those graduates in the class of 2014 went into engineering and biomedical science. We have three neuroscience majors right now. We've got a genetics major, civil engineering major, medical engineering. We've had two Fulbright awards. So kids who come together and they learn to do the hard practicing incrementally building their skills over time with other people to achieve something really beautiful, those are generalizable skills. And we can count on our students to create futures of which we can all be proud.